Wee oui, Wee, oui. Jimapel KK, and welcome back to my Chanel. <laughs> Louis Vuitton Coco Chanel Poisson. Merci. Beaucoup. Beaucoup. Bon voyage. I have no explanation for what just happened besides the fact that I'm going to be drawing your favorite books. I'm not an artist. If you were looking for Bob Ross, he's a little bit further north, and this is the best that I can do. So let's get started. I asked my Instagram followers to let me know what their favorite book was, and I picked a few responses, and I'm gonna be trying to draw them on this whiteboard with these select color options. How will this go? <laughs> I don't know. The first book I'm gonna be drawing is The Hobbits by J.R.R. Tolkien. And like I said, I'm not an artiste, but I will be attempting to draw these books like one of your little French girls. I do have the book in front of me because I'm not doing this from memory. I want it to be like kind of recognizable. All right, let's start simple. <laughs> uh, okay, take, take one. Let's start simple. The Hobbit. Next is, there's a big red moon in the middle. Here. Um, I'm gonna erase part of this because there's kind of a mountain top that covers it. So let's draw mountains. Yikes. <laughs> Mountains, snowy mountain tops. Um, and then there's like a little swirly thing down here. Is that land? I don't know. And last to cap it off, birds, birds. J. Okay, first drawing, how did I do? But this is drawing number one. How are we looking? If I had to rate this on a scale of one to 10 as far as accuracy, definitely a very high rating, probably like a two and a half. I think if I maybe took a little bit more time or had the proper tools to color this in, it might be a little bit better. Then again, it might be worse. The grass isn't always greener on the other side. It's greener where you water it. I'll keep working. Okay, the next book that I'm gonna be drawing is The Surrogate Mother by Frieda McFadden. I actually have that book back down here. Boom. Let's, oh, my hat. Let's start again. Let's do it over here so I can put like a, um, here, the words are down here. The surrogate mother. And then it's like a little vial with a pacifier in it. So up here is Frida's name. And then the vial is like, oh. Okay, let me hurry up and do something with that. Vial is like up into this corner. And then that's the little ring, pacifier ring. Oh, beautiful. Oh wait, what does it say? She's your worst nightmare. Worst. You can't read what that says. I didn't put any color in this one. So let me maybe do a little accenting. There's like a slash through surrogate, like a, Slash like that. Do you see that attention to detail that I just gave you? And then like <laughs> the bottom of it is red, red, and it like fades to black up top. So we're gonna act like this is faded to black. Maybe we can add a little black, a little black scent to it here but leave room for the words. See that faded in really nicely. This is actually kind of iconic. That 
may be the best thing I've ever seen. Number two, what would you rate it? This one is actually a little bit better than my last one, I think. I think I would give this one like a four, but I really like the ombre. Oh, I, I really like the ombre, how it fades really nicely from red to black and the pacifier, iconic. Oh, there's little bubbles in the vial. I missed a small detail. I think there's approximately two and a half bubbles on that picture that I'm looking at. And I drew 14. Okay, number two, what are we rating it? Be nice. I told you, Bob Ross, a little further north. <laughs> okay, last one is The Once and Future Witches by Alex Haro or Harrow. Uh, this one's gonna be quite difficult, so we're gonna need all the time we can get. So let's get started. Once again, starting it off. Okay, so this has like ribbons. These are like ribbons with leaves. I'm gonna go ahead and like draw the ribbon. <clears throat> and then I'm going to draw the leaves. Absolutely stunning. A little bit of leaves like these. Um, this might be a disaster. We will see. Do, 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 do. Okay, let me put in the words so that we can at least start to see the vision. Oh, I missed, I missed a ribbon. Here to here, period. And future witches. And then we have like <laughs> some roses. <laughs> These are the iconic, or it's some sort of, yeah, those are definitely roses. And what I'm drawing are also definitely roses, period. And then there is a crow that sits, so I'm gonna erase this one. There's a bird. <laughs> Nothing. There's a bird that sits on the witch's part. That's its tail. Um, beak. And then there's the wing here. I think that's actually kind of a masterpiece. And let's give that one a leaf. Am I missing anything? Probably. That's another flower. I'm gonna add accents so that everyone knows that that flower is different and special because it's a color that I don't really have on me right now. So we're just gonna give it some highlights. And there's a snake in this, so that's a snake tail here. And that sucker wraps all the way up and through here, all the way up here to erase that leaf and snake. That is a snake. And then on the bottom, we're gonna finish this off with a pair of scissors, I presume. These are, those are scissors. This one was really, really hard. It's a little bit messy. Okay, down there it's supposed to say Alex Harrow, but um, it doesn't. So that's my third one. What are we? What are we thinking? What are we rating it? I think I would rate this one be based on the intricacy, intri intricacy, based on the intricacy of the piece. I'm gonna have to rate this one a six. That's pretty good. Okay, I think I am going to go ahead and early retire this whiteboard. Early retire my hat. I don't even know what this thing is supposed to be called. Um, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. This was actually kind of fun. I feel like I should twist my mustache. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. I post a new video every week and <clears throat> 
I'll see you on the flip side of the pillow where it's cold.